Welcome from an topic. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can already see by the title, in today's video, I'll be dropping the part 2 of the series How to Make Your Sales Fun. In the first part, I asked you to give me 100 likes and I'll drop a part 2. And you've overdone that and you've gotten the video to over 200 likes. So, as promised, here is the part 2. If you would like a part 3, let's see if this video can hit 175 likes. But with that said, let's begin and I hope you enjoy. The first step of this video is to create your own club. Now, as opposed to using a team that's already in the game, a team who's already been in football for hundreds of years, a team with history, there is not much fun in that. There is not much fun in winning the Champions League with a team like Liverpool or even a team like Nottingham Forest who've already won it in the history. There is nothing more fun than creating a team, building it from the ground up, from the lowest division up into the first division, potentially challenging for European titles. There is nothing more fun than seeing a club you created go from the mud to one of the best teams in the world. So this is why that's first on my list to create your own club. For the second tip, I would tell you when you are signing Wonder Kids, stop signing well-known Wonder Kids. Your Pedris, your Bellinghams, your Muzialas, stop signing them. Although they are overpowered and they can take your team to the next level, there is no fun in watching a player grow to 90 whom you already knew they would have grown to that. It's clear that a player like Fatty will grow to 90. It's clear that a player like Pedri will also grow to 90. What's more fun is taking a player from a team you have no idea about in a league that you rarely hear about. Taking a player from that league and that team up to the heights of a player at the levels of Ronaldo or Messi is better than taking someone like Pedri to a potential they are already meant to reach no matter if you had signed them or not. The third and final tip of this video is to have some sort of policy. Now there are different policies at different clubs. For example, a policy at Liverpool is to sign players with money that they've received. So they cannot sign a player for 100 mil if they have not made 100 mil from selling players. A policy at RB Leipzig would be to sign players predominantly from RB Salzburg or teams from other Red Bull franchise clubs. Create your own policy for your club, whether that be to sell every player who reaches 30 and above, so to sign only players 29 and below, or that may be to sign only French players, or whatever the case may be, create your own policy and make it effective at your club. That's all for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. Remember 175 likes and I'll drop a third part. But peace out, stay safe and stay awesome.